victory here. What do you guys think? We got to pick them going in. Let's send it down to ringside here. What city are we in? I forgot. Somewhere in Texas. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Fiji. Weighing in at 250 pounds. Jimmy Snuka. Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Someone who has the guts to stand up for what's right. Were we in El Paso? I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't remember what city we're in. I know it's Texas. They only show it that one time at the very beginning. And his opponent from Honolulu, Hawaii. Weighing in at 335 pounds. Magnificent. Don Morocco. This is the kind of match the WWE Universe has been dreaming of. And that dream is about to become a reality. A magnificent Morocco. He definitely had his time in the limelight. Feuding with Magnificent Morocco. Uh, Feuding with, uh, what was his name? Pedro Morales. Feuding with Bob Backlund. Feuding with Superfly Snuka. He definitely had some good runs during his time in the WWF. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Godspeed, I hope so. If they don't, it'll be a colossal failure to the season. Jack should be ready to go after the All-Star break. If he can stay healthy, we're going to have a shot. Look at fucking Snuka. Sunset flip over the top rope out onto the floor. Wow. Nice move by Jimmy Snuka there. Jack should be ready to go after the All-Star break. He's not going to skate during the All-Star facilities uh, events over the weekend. So at least that's the word today. And I, I don't think he should. He's been out all this time. He should not be getting back on the ice at the All-Star game. But he should be ready to go after the break. Um, I mean, just him alone. He can steal some games by himself. Snook is on the top rope. Diving elbow out over the ring post onto the floor on a fallen Morocco. We got Andre Pilat back. Timo Meyer's back. Dougie Hamilton's done for the year. He's he's not coming back. So I don't know. Our defense is still so thin. Oh, face first into the ring post. Snook is really punishing Morocco outside the ring. I think if with Jack back, he can steal some games on his own. So. I think we'll make it, but as I've said before, with the goaltending tandem we have right now, unless Nico Dawes steps up and becomes the clear-cut number one, we, we don't have a Stanley Cup championship goaltending. Absolutely not. And any Devil fan that lives in reality will admit that. Now, Nico Dawes still has, you know, the second half of the season, he could take over the number one job. He's been playing well. Let's see if he can sustain it with a weak defense in front of him, you know. I, I think I think as long as Jack stays healthy the second half of the season, that will make the playoffs. Nice sling blade there by the Superfly. Super kick, and he nailed Morocco right in the chin, but Don wouldn't go down. And he threw him into the steel barricade. Good match here on Thunder. Sellout crowd in Texas. Look up pummeling magnificent Morocco who's out on the floor right now at the count of six Snooker may get a count out 
Morocco slowly getting back to his feet, and Snook is impatient, heading back out to the floor to continue the attack. Jumping Hurricanrana, and some solid right hands right to the middle of the face. Snook up, pummeling magnificent Morocco, diving knee to the face. Walks right into a big right hand. Morocco with a knee reversal. Good job. And he tosses Snooker by the headband. On the floor now stomping away on his chest. Morocco using the break to catch his breath and dish out some punishment at the same time. Running power slam on the floor. Magnificent Morocco. What a powerful move on Superfly. Running power bomb. Power slam out on the concrete floor. Look at Snuka. Sunset flip reversal by Snuka. He's going to go for a cover now. He's dished a lot of punishment out. Morocco kicks out at two. Snuka can't believe it. But yeah, guys, I think we'll make the playoffs. I don't think we're going to win the cup. Another sunset flip. Power bomb by Snuka. I don't think we're going to win the cup by any means. Unless, like I said, Nico does. Steps up and grabs the number one spot. Snook is on the top rope after a super fly. I'm sorry, after a super kick. The one and a half off the top rope nails Morocco. Snooker goes for the cover. And no, he does not get him. Morocco got a shoulder up. Snooker yelling at the ref for a slow count. Lining him up, trying to finish him off once and for all. Snooker. 8 of 4 arm from Morocco. Nice reversal. Oh, Morocco sets it up. End of days on Snuka. Out of nowhere, Morocco's going for a cover. And Snuka kicks out. Snuka got the shoulder up. Morocco stomping the breath out of the superfly. Standing drop kick by Snuka. Nicely done. Second rope. Springboard cross body block. Hit nothing. Morocco takes advantage. Chopped to the throat. Big left hand, followed by a right hand. Morocco has Snooker up. What is he going to do with him? Snap slam. Snap, stomping on his chest. Morocco, again, stomping the breath right out of the superfly, squashing him like a bug. Spinning right hand, Snooker's down. Morocco goes for the cover. No. Superfly. Kicks out at two and a half. Morocco frustrated, heading up to the top rope. Superfly, Morocco gets him with his own move. He's got the leg hooked, only a one count. Snooker kicked out. I think that was adrenaline. I don't think he knows where he is right now. Morocco's pummeled him the last couple of minutes. Don's going to deadlift him. Flips him over. Inverted slam. He is just destroying the Superfly like a fly swatter on a fly right now. What's he going to do? Snooker drop kicks to the knee, gets out of the hole. Nicely done by Snooker. I am feeling a titanic shift going through this crowd right now. Are you not the only one? Trying to separate Morocco's shoulder there. Snooker Irish whips the Hawaiian into the corner hard, sits him up on the top rope. Snooker setting him up. What's he going to do? What's he got in mind? Fireman's carry off the top second rope what is he gonna do wow landslide snooker goes for the pinfall i think this is all oh morocco kicks out again and snooker screaming at the referee he wants a faster count both men have taken a lot of punishment here snooker with a wrist lock what's he gonna do with him he's heading over to the ropes up onto the top rope all that work for an arm drag. A lot of effort for minimal gain. Snuka, sling blade again. He's heading up to the top rope. Springboard flip, and he missed. But Morocco's hurt. Snuka tries it again, and he missed again. Wow, he looks foolish. AI's making Jimmy Snuka look like an idiot. Morocco used the opening to take advantage once again. Toss suplex. And Morocco loving that stomp move, stomping the breath right out of the superfly. 
He's going to go for a cover. Stephen Fly has one of those bare feet underneath the lower rope. And now Morocco tries the submission hold, but Snooker's foot was still under the lower rope. Morocco feeling good about where he is in the match at this point. Stomping right in the middle of the back. And he feels he has time to pose for the crowd before he goes for the pinfall. It's a lot of waste of time. And it cost him. Snooker kicks out at two. Morocco's yelling at the ref. He doesn't have anybody to blame but himself. He took so long to go for the pinfall. Snapmare Snooker off the rope. Drop kick right to the face. What a fantastic match. Right forearm by Snooker. And Morocco's down. Snooker picks him back up. Big open hand chop. Snooker goes for a cover. Morocco kicks out. What a fantastic match between two superstars here in the WCW. Snooker's on the top rope. One and a half. Nailed it. Nailed it. Everybody does superflies in this game except for the superfly, apparently. Snuka lining Morocco up. Got him in the fireman's carry. What's he have in mind? Sit down, power bomb, small package, power bomb, whatever you want to call it. Oh, not a three count. Two and three quarters. Snuka shaking his head in disbelief. Standing shooting star nails Morocco. He's still down. We officially have a five-star match here between Superfly Jimmy Snuka and the magnificent Morocco. Second match on Thunder. Sellout crowd here in Texas loving it. Nice arm drag by the Superfly there. Perfectly executed. Snuka trying to dislocate the shoulder of the fallen Morocco. Knee to the middle of the back. Either one of these guys can go down at any given moment. Knee lift to the face. That had plenty of power behind it. And a kick to the midsection. Snuck it up to the second rope. Fans cheering him on. Waiting for Morocco to get to his feet. Jumping Hurricanrana. Snuck it goes for the pinfall. Morocco grabs the rope. Referee saw it. Stops the count. Snuck it shaking his head in disbelief once again. Thought he had him that time. He's got Morocco up again. Is he going to do it again? Here it comes. Small package, sit down, power bomb, hooks the leg. Snooker has him, and he got the victory. Superfly Jimmy Snooker with a three count on the magnificent Morocco. What a fantastic match. Here is your winner, Jimmy Snooker. The Superfly gets the win. Wow, I hope we get to see these two match up again in the near future. That was a good match. It was indeed, Godspeed. Superfly Jimmy Snooker with a five-star victory over the magnificent Morocco. That was a fantastic match. Hope we see more of those two. Five-star match rating. Superfly victorious over the magnificent Morocco. That was a solid match. Solid, solid match. All right.